Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how you create a pixel shooting effect in GIMP. So let's get started. First, we are going to open GIMP and go to File and create a new document of size 1920 x You can go with any size. I'm going with this one. Now I will link this image in the description. You can go and download it from the link. When you have downloaded it, you can follow me with this image. This will be in the description, right? So I will take the scale tool now. I will the scale tool it will be here present here. If it is not there, you can right click and then select it. Oh, I will scale down the image such that it fills up the rectangle, uh, the my document size. Scale. Use my move tool. Just center the image there. Okay. After doing this, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this image. Click this option to duplicate the image. We'll keep two images here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is just select the first image and go to filters, distorts, and shift. Change this to vertical, shift direction to vertical. Create a shift like this. You can create it around. 100 works for me you can decide which works for you it should be too much distorted like this click ok now what i'm going to do is just uh, make it invisible i will just go and select my uh, this loop free select tool i will go with free select tool and just create the selection like this from here to here, from here, from here. Okay, I will press con uh, escape to lock it out. Right here, like this, like this. Okay, it should be shorter. This works. Just try to be smaller, like this. We'll just create something like I will press Ctrl to get a straight line out of them. Like this works. We will just select this out, okay? Press Enter, and this works for me. I will just now just uh, make this visible again. Add a layer mask to it. Add a layer mask, uh, make it full opacity, add it. Now select, uh, keep in mind that this is selected. Just uh, keep in mind that this is also by default into black and white. Now I will go to edit and I will go to fill with back or uh, uh, go my make my selection to invert. Go to edit, fill with foreground color yes this works for me now what i'm going to do just pick up any brush tool just lower its size it's hardness 100 yes this works for me i will just lower the opacity for it lower the opacity and keep in mind this is selected now and you can just paint it out like this to none and just paint it out like this okay like this keep in mind that uh, your mask is selected here let's get selected you can always control uh, z to fix if you did a mistake and try it again this again I will just try to make a circle like this
and change my color like this here okay Uh, it out. Let's make the opacity high again, and I will try to make it like this. I guess this works here now what I'm going to do is just keep this image selected go to colors go to this hue and chroma and you can change your color as per your wish then keep my chroma a bit so that the effects come more and you can change your hue as per your choice I am going with this color. Now you can just create a new layer from visible. Go visible. Go to colors. Go to curves. And create an S here. Okay. So colors again. Do shadows and highlight. We'll make the shadows lower. Let's also click OK. Go to colors, go to temperature balance. I will increase my temperature a bit. And I guess we are done, guys. So that's how you create pixel sorting effect in GIMP. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and hope you guys liked it. I will see you again, guys. Bye.